So this is going to be the two month review. I was planning for a one month, but with the weather being as useless as it is in the UK, that kind of got dragged out. The first <coughs> So the day the mount came, I set it up and quickly discovered there was no instructions, um, which took a while to try and find on the Skywatcher website. Because if you go on the Skywatcher global site, there's no mention of the mount at all. Nothing. Not even the EQ6, which is quite strange and interesting. But apart from that, I managed to get the mount set up, uh, figured out what I needed to, and then it was time to go. That night was very clear. Shocking. We had three nights in a row of nothing but darkness, which was fantastic which gave me the opportunity to play with the mount and quickly have a mess about with the app um, and figure out some of the settings, which was actually very simple and very easy to use. Um, by the second night, I got everything perfect. So far, it's been, well, be two months in two days, if I'm correct, after, from making this video and I'm very happy, very happy. Everything's been fantastic. It connected to everything. Didn't have to change no settings as such. Um, Nina picked up everything. I'd, um, I realized I had a little bit of an issue with the mount seat. It was the opposite way around. It was wrong way around. The first night I didn't realize and it didn't make any difference. So after playing with the app, I'm trying to figure out how it connected and then finally figured that out as I say because there was no instructions um, I performed the auto home feature that was impressive it just started moving around all by itself and then it spanned itself in the right orientation and that was it it was done one bonus about this mount it's ridiculously quiet you can I can stand next to it here why it's doing its auto home feature or if you're just slewing through the app or the hand controller and you can barely hear it it's ridiculously quiet it's very talky I will give you that I encountered um, a bit of an issue with um, not with this mount but with my setup is that previously using brake discs for connecting the mount to the pier I found out when trying to go for Andromeda um, with this particular setup is my telescope was hitting the discs because this mount is a lot smaller than my EQ3 Pro um, and if it's smaller than that mount it's going to be smaller than all the rest after that so I had to do a quick modification quickly remove the discs I found these giant pieces of slate and decided to attach them until I could fire some steel after that it's been perfect the bonus that I've had from switching mounts is one the full remote controllability of it i'm able to go anywhere and now connect to it which is nice so i have to stand out here while it's zero degrees for instance um, i'm now able to do guiding so i'm going to pull this out of retirement <laughs> early retirement and that's been fine my subs of so depending on what target i'm shooting and the length of exposures i'm doing if I was doing 60 second exposures with my old EQ3, I was down to around, we'll say, good 60 to 70% of the photos were usable. 30% of them were completely useless, couldn't use them. If I was going over, um, say, two, just over two minutes on my old EQ3, my exposures, um, say, 20% of them were usable. The rest were complete garbage. It's an old mount, it was unguided, and it had some weird tracking error, which I couldn't repair to save my life. This now, with this mount, 100% of my pictures are usable. It doesn't matter if I'm taking 30 second exposures or I'm taking, currently my longest is seven minutes, and they're perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm now just finding issues now with the actual telescope. For the mount though, I didn't purchase the extra counterweights pole tripod. I'm currently waiting for the 
steel tripod to be released. Um, I've been contacted by Skywatcher US. They've told me it should be out beginning of the year, possibly end of December. I decided not to buy the carbon fiber pod just because this is pretty heavy. And to be honest, I just don't trust the carbon fiber tripods. So I wanted to get the steel one. The base will not work on the EQ3, EQ5 or the EQ6 mounts, they just won't, it's a completely different design. I know there's a converter plate you can buy for the EQ6, but I didn't have the EQ6. Um, so I'm waiting for the steel tripod to be released, then I can start going out. As for the counterweights, these are from the EQ5, so is the pole. Well the pole's from the 3 actually, but it's the same. They just screw it perfectly. I uh, just painted them black to match. But yeah, it screws in perfectly fine and I've had no problems with that at all. I'm still using it straight through Nina. I've not connected the hand controller because I've not needed to use that. I've decided to use the app if I need to just move it around. As for mounting the screw, the center screw, to this plate, we'll say, that was a mission. Um, it's a US screw. Obviously I'm in the UK, not available. I've looked online and to have it imported, it was like, sorry, not screw, the bolt. It's like 53 pound for us to pay for one single bolt. I'm not paying that. So I've got a bit carried away with grinding down a bolt and re-tapping it into a, some strange size, which perfectly, which works. So that's fine with me. So since my unboxing video, I've been contacted by people asking me if I've had any problems with the mount since I've had it. Because a few people have to do with firmware or some other problems. I think I've been lucky. I've had no issues whatsoever. So as you can see, I've connected it through my old power cable from EQ3, which is the right voltage and ampage. And I'm going straight from the USB straight to my little mini PC down here. Um, and basically that's all it is the star alignments so you unlock this nut here and that bolt there controls it going up and down so you north and south very easy to use lock it down doing the star alignments with these is the most easiest thing I've ever come across I have noticed the same as what Astro Backyard did is this gauge here is off it's not massively off but it is off so that's something Skywatcher needs to probably look out for the bubble level is fine I don't use it I use the spirit level I can't see that <laughs> so there is that I suppose as for the star alignments easy very easy the accuracy that you can get with this mount and performing it through this setup is impressive um, it's just easy i've had some of the best star alignments ever even when i was using my eq3 for the eyepiece my star alignments were good anyway but with this they're they're very good um guiding on that side I have not had any problems. I personally think the guiding that I've had has been brilliant. And like I said, with the seven minute sub and the stars are perfect. So, yes. But yes, I say, this is a two month review. I'll do another review in a six month period. And if I've any issues, I'll let you know. But so far, brilliant. Can't moan. Definitely highly recommend. And as being in the UK, it's actually cheaper than the ZWO mounts. I think it's lighter and it does have a higher capacity than the AM3. I do know that. Yes, well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. It helps out a lot and it, I appreciate everyone's support.